This video highlights a project from Assemble Systems that demonstrates their application on the iPad Pro using Hoops Visualize Graphics SDK from TechSoft 3D at the 2018 Boston Hoops Summit event. So we're going to hop in, uh, select a project, and we're going to select a view of the entire architectural model. This is about 2 million uh, faces in this model. I think it's about six or 7,000 elements. And you can see it's color-coded by, by, I think, the, the type of object. I just turned off the, the roof. I'm going to turn off the ceilings so I can see what's down inside those rooms, using my fingers to, to rotate the model around. I'm going to turn off the color by property and just get to the, uh, the actual source colors from this thing. I'm going to select a room. I'm going to select that room on the bottom center there. I think it's a, it's like a faculty a conference room. And I'm going to just say zoom into that. That's a, that all this camera animation is, is very simple to do in, in, um, in Hoops Visualize. It kind of does it automatically for you. Um, now I've selected that. Now I've, I've said create a section box by isolating that room. Again, you just tell it the planes you want to you cut in the section and Visualize does that for you. It colors it, the, the cut faces for you um, if you've set it up that way. Uh, I've turned the section off. Now I'm going to select this bigger room. I'm going to go enter it like I had described earlier. So I'm just going to select that room and say enter and it's going to zoom me right in there. And now I'm going to actually use the iPad, the gyroscope, uh, like Jonathan showed again, to just look around. I'm just going like this with the iPad. And I'm going to select that window up on the top and look at its properties. So again, here's all that PMI data, like data for that window. It's, it's a whole bunch of data that comes out of Revit. Uh, we also, Assemble allows you to set up your own uh, data that we maintain in the cloud as well. Whatever you want, it's all custom. And I'm going to just walk around a little bit. I'm using uh, my fingers to kind of pinch zoom, or you can double tap with two fingers to kind of advance to uh, whatever you've selected on the screen. Um, so I think that's what I do here. Yeah, I go down on the end of the end of this hallway just to show you the how smooth it is to navigate around. And now I'm going to cut a section right where I'm standing just by selecting a point there. I'm going to rotate the plane and say I want to section this. And so now I can see what's above me and below me. You can see the crawl space below me and then the second floor above. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to save this view configuration as a snapshot because I might want to come back to it later and, and, uh, and do, a something, do something with it. So that's as simple as tapping that plus up top. Bam, takes a full screen snapshot. Now I don't want to do anything else with it. Just put it in the list. Now I'm just going to jump through these, these other snapshots that I created that have the annotations in them. You can see they're full 3D annotations that I can, when I move the model, they, they, they move as well. Um, you can see me drag one of these with my fingertip, the countertop up there. And then a couple more um, interior snapshots. Here's a, a section. And then here's the one I had saved before. I'm just restoring it. And, uh, and one little more, one little piece at the end here is just using that enter feature again. Anywhere in the model, I can just say enter. Instead of picking a room, I can just say stand at that point that I selected, and it takes you right in. Visit TechSoft3D.com today to request your free 60-day evaluation for Hoops Visualize and experience the power for yourself.